everybody I'm in the greenhouse today I'm trying to make a list of what needs doing because it is a bit parky today it's only about four degrees um, which I think is about 38 Fahrenheit we got proper frost and uh, yeah it's good though because it means that my garlic's being frosted and hopefully it should split nicely this year unlike last year where it just um yeah it didn't go so well <laughs> <laughs> right we're getting ready to go up to the allotment and uh, so I'll see you guys there so this is job for today this little apple tree it's gonna try and clear out all the weeds from underneath it there's a little bramble there and just get it so that it's a bit better for next year because I think we got like, three apples off this thing gonna try and make it better three of the apple trees um, this little one probably needs a little bit more doing to it but we've got out the biggest like crisscrossing branches to make it better and I need to find my secateurs I don't know where they are so with this little one the thing that made it look worse was all of the all of the weeds you having trouble with the fork look? oh you got it, got it um, so the thing that made it look the worst was all of the weeds that were growing up through it so what I've done is we've strimmed them down raked it strimmed them down again and then we've just put some wood chip mulch around the edge it's not touching the trunk it's just trying to keep some of the uh, some of the weeds down and we'll keep topping that up but for today it's there to show where we're going to uh, at least mulch it a little bit well I think it looks much better than it did now there's still a little bit of grass really near to the thing but it's quite hard to get under there I even sent the tiny people under and it was tricky but I've cut off a couple of the can you see just there that one that one because they were shooting right over this way but looks much better and we've got it's starting to bud nice can you see fresh buds coming Oh, sign of spring. That tiny one is a cooker. Um, got cooking apples in it. And the one over near the shed over there, that's a cooker as well. Um, and I've trimmed that one a bit, taken out the big branches that's sort of crossing over. And um, the one that's on this side of the plot is an eating apple. And they had lovely apples, so I'm told. For eating this one here I've taken off a couple of the branches some of them had obviously broken and then sort of healed themselves and they're in funny sort of angles so I got rid of those ones and the ones that were really crossing and now I've got like three distinct sort of branches sections of tree and uh, I've taken off a little bit of the height but I might take off a little bit more see this branch here goes all the way up <laughs> it's quite tall like I know I'm a short ass that's as far as I can reach and it still goes up quite a lot more so I'm considering taking off some of the height oh I don't know what you think but yeah this this one here this was one of the um like the ones that got broken and then rehealed so I've taken that one off uh this one over here this one here they were sort of at funny angles so got rid of those and one of our neighbors further down further down the site was chopping down a tree today I know him from sort of outside of the allotment allotment uh, site so that was quite fun to see him today and uh, he has come and he has cut down <gasps> he's cut down the hawthorn it's gone He's left like a like a chunk 
up mm. sort of just under a foot so that we know where it is and hopefully we can try and get that out uh, in a little while give it a good dig and get rid of the thing but it means all the thorns will be coming out and these are he's cut them into little pieces can you see so that we can bonfire them so i'm gonna get all this moved put onto the pile which is sort of bonfire -y stuff and tidy up for today and then then i think we're going home so we're getting ready to go now girls are taking all the stuff down to the car um we've done some work in the greenhouse don't know if you can see we started putting wood chips down on the floor again we've pruned trees and we've uh yeah had a bit of a tidy up but now we are going to go we had a little bit of damage to the greenhouse from the storm so we've taken measurements because we need to replace some of the panels which is a shame that the front is okay but uh, at the back one of the roof panels is gone so we need to uh need to replace that but yeah we're going home now so i will see you on the next one bye